My uh, father's family came from Chios, but they left Chios in uh, 1822. There was the massacre of Chios, no? It's uh, back in 1822. And they went to Russia. And then from Russia, they went to uh, Switzerland and then England. And finally, I was born in 1939 in England, and then we came, when World War II began, uh, we came to the United States. My mother's family was from Sparta, and uh, she was born in the United States, but then brought up in Greece. They, after she was born, they went back to Greece. And so uh, both my parents were, were of Greek origin, uh, although both were born outside of, uh, of Greece. They spoke Greek to each other. And you do speak Greek. I spoke, I used to speak it quite well because I was consul general in Thessaloniki. Uh, but that was now 35 years ago. I wanted to comment from you, um, if you could, about the Greek, uh, the way that Greece is handling their image abroad. Mm -hmm. Do you think they do a good job, and especially with the U.S. from the personal experience that you had? Greece has a very good foreign service. I think they're very professional. They have a very strong career service. Um, there's a large Greek-American community in the United States, so I think that people are familiar with the Greece, Greek culture, Greek food. I mean, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things about Greece that are very much um, understood. Mm -hmm. it, to most Americans, Greece is not a strange yeah. or unusual yeah. place. So I'd say Greece is a very popular country here. As I was saying in the reply to question this evening, I mean, I think Greece is in a very difficult position because they're under a lot of pressure to cut uh, spending and cut these costs and that's not an easy thing to do. You, you've you been watching it just like I have. I mean every time they try to cut something there's big demonstrations in mm -hmm. the streets. And one thing I learned when I was Consul General in Thessaloniki is that when, when Greeks demonstrate they demonstrate very energetically. Yeah. I remember they used to demonstrate there was used to be, uh, the left was quite strong in Thessaloniki and they would demonstrate against NATO. And they would demonstrate against NATO right in front of my consulate. Yeah, so I would have thousands of people and it was a very narrow street and they'd be walking right by yeah. the consulate general. Mm -hmm. It was quite frightening actually. Yeah. So Greeks can be very passionate when they demonstrate, very passionate. What a comment, uh, of course, about Bin Laden and his... Um, well, I think it's good that we got rid of him. I mean, I think that that was important did you have Does to it take mean there's going to be an end mm -hmm. to uh, terrorism? No, I mean, I think the problem will continue, no. but it's a blow for them. It's mm -hmm. a serious blow. Were you involved during your years as national uh, intelligence, uh, security intelligence in the early stages of trying to find him? Or, uh, well, I, was, yeah. uh, I supervised all those activities. My, my job had to do with supervising the intelligence community mm -hmm. as director of national intelligence. I was not involved in operational activity yeah, personally, course, yes, yes. but I was involved in the policies and in the, the uh, discussions that took place about what to do, and uh, those were things that I was very familiar with. And, but I think that the, the important message about, from an intelligence point of view about what happened to bin Laden is that after 9-11 we began to build up our capacity in the area of, we, we restored our capabilities in the area of intelligence collection and in special operations. And this is one of the products, if you will, one of the results of the investment that has been made over this 10 year period. So I'd say it's a, it's a positive outcome and it's basically builds on the patient investments that have been made for the last decade. What are your future plans from, from now on? Well, I'm in the private sector. Uh, I, I'm in a consulting company. I also am a professor at my alma mater, which is Yale University. I teach there one day a week. So I have a lot of activities. I'm involved with a lot of the non, not-for-profit. Would you like to come back? Not especially. Uh, I've, I'm uh, over 70 years old, and I have uh, uh, got 44 years of government service. Uh, I, I, no one ever says never uh, if some opportunity were to arise, but that's not one of my ambitions at the moment.